In the Kristen Smart murder trial, witness testimony today centering on the night Smart disappeared 26 years ago. News Channel reporter Dave Alley was inside the courtroom in Salinas and has a recap of what took place in court today. On the stand the entire morning was Tim Davis, a Cal Poly student at the time of her disappearance. He was at the same party that both Smart and defendant Paul Flores both attended near the Cal Poly campus on May 24th, 1996. As he was questioned by prosecutor Chris Prevell, Davis says he remembers that night vividly, having relived it the past 26 years, adding he didn't know either Smart or Flores, but remembers seeing the two of them together during the night. And at one point after hearing a loud thud, Davis said he saw both of them on the ground together. Hours later, he said he went outside as the party was ending and found Smart face down in a small grassy area. Noticing she wasn't able to leave on her own, Davis decided to walk Smart along with another female friend back to the Cal Poly dorms. Moments later, he said Flores, quote, just kind of came out of the darkness and joined in on the walk to the campus. Davis adding he walked about five to 10 minutes with the group before passing Smart off to Flores. Under cross-examination from defense attorney Robert Sanger, Davis was questioned repeatedly about the moments Flores joined the walk. Sanger pointing out Davis said in a July 1996 interview with police that he saw Flores with a group of other people from a party across the street. Davis said he couldn't remember that, but was emphatic that Flores joined the walk after emerging suddenly from his left. Asked to describe Smart's physical state at that point, he said she was cold and wanted to go home. In the afternoon, Jeremy Moon, a friend of Flores back in 1996, was on the stand. He testified he saw Flores with a black eye two days after Smart's disappearance. But Sanger later brought up interviews conducted in June 1996 that appear to show discrepancies indicating Moon's timeline of events might be off. The trial does continue on Tuesday. Court is expected to begin at 1030 in the morning. Reporting in Salinas, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.